we mentioned, this is mm -hmm. the final debate. It's just hours away. Some are calling it fight night in Vegas. Perfect place to have this debate. And joining us to talk about it is former Texas governor and GOP presidential candidate Rick Perry. Rick Perry, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. All right, Donald Trump has gone after House Speaker Paul Ryan and other Republicans he calls disloyal. How does that walk that line tonight? How should he walk that line, I should say, when it comes to rallying everyone to get support, or does it hurt the party's chances of actually winning? I don't think it hurts the party's chances. You know, we have these intramural fights. We've had one for a long time. And uh, I, I think it's up to us to come in behind and, and support Donald Trump. You know, he won the nomination, fair and square. There were 16 of us lined up out there, and he's a, uh, the one that was finally standing. So, you know, just like I came on board, uh, Ted Cruz came on board, others came on board, and uh, I think it's up to us to be supporting our nominee, not for him to have to go begging around and asking for uh, our support. And so, you know, people are gonna uh, people are gonna get a little flaky from time to time. But uh, listen, I'm for Donald Trump. Uh, this is easy for me. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Supreme Court. Uh, that one's easy. Governor Perry, let me ask you, the most recent poll in Wisconsin showed 61% of voters had an unfavorable opinion of Donald Trump versus 54% for Hillary Clinton. Specifically, what can he say tonight to sort of change that perception with just 19 days to go? Is it even possible? Well, I, I think it is. Tonight's going to be an important uh, debate. It's going to be an important opportunity for Donald Trump to talk about getting the economy back on track, building our military back up. Uh, securing this country's border. Those are the three things that I would suggest are at the top of people's uh, list of importance. And, and so his focus on that will be uh, go a long way towards making people be comfortable that he is the one person on that stage that can change the uh, mindset in Washington, can change the trajectory of this country and, and get, get our country back working again. Governor Perry, thank you very much for making time for us. And in just a few minutes, we'll, we'll also be, be speaking. Sorry about that, Governor Perry. But in a few minutes, we'll also be speaking with representatives from the Democratic Party for Hillary Clinton just after the break. And as promised, we now turn to the Democrats to talk about the final presidential debate. And joining us to talk about it is Marlon Marshall, Deputy Campaign Manager for Hillary Clinton. Thank you for joining us, Marlon. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. Well, let's start here. During the campaign stops in Wisconsin, Donald Trump has gone after Hillary Clinton's email, suggesting it was worse than, quote, the Watergate scandal. Poll suggests voters have a trust issue with Clinton. How does she close that gap tonight? Hillary Clinton has yet to campaign here to even talk about those issues. Well, I think well, it's a great question. One of the ways we're going to continue to talk, uh, close that gap is to talk to the American people about what they want to hear about, which is the economy, how we're going to continue to bring jobs to this country, how we're going to lower the wage gap. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I think our campaign is doing well. Uh, our message of being stronger together, of working with everyone to move this country forward, I believe is resonating in Wisconsin, is resonating across the country. It's one of the reasons we're winning this election right now. It's one of the reasons we're going to win. But on the trust issue, the emails raise that with voters. Yeah. Does she have to address that? Yeah. Well, I think she, one of the reasons why she's going to continue to talk about uh, trust is just continuing to talk to American people about what she's going to do. One of the things that you've heard Hillary Clinton say throughout this campaign, but you're going to hear more of tonight, is her 30-year history of fighting for children and families, coming out of law school and going to work for the Children's Defense Fund. Literally every single stop of her life, uh, she's been in public service. And the more the American people learn that story, the more they trust her, the more they know that she's going to be the fighter for them as president of the United States. Marlon, many of those issues that you talk about are important to millennials. However, in the primary, she lost to millennials to Bernie Sanders here in mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Now, the Washington Post uh, mm -hmm. released a story today suggesting that young African Americans are not as excited about her. Why is she struggling with this important base, and how can she change that tonight? Yeah. That, that's a great question. I think, you know, we have been working to earn support of millennial voters, uh, obviously throughout the whole primary and then including the general election. Uh, look, I was with Hillary Clinton a, a couple weeks ago in Charlotte, and she sat down with young African-American men and got a chance to hear their stories of uh, the issues that they're facing in their community, but also hear about how we need to work together, how uh, the police and the community, if you have community policing, that actually moves uh, uh, communities forward. Uh, and she listened to those young men and got a chance to talk about what she would do as president. And so what you'll hear tonight, what you're going to hear these next 20 days, is what she would do as president. And when people get a chance to know that, 
uh, again, when she left law school and went to the Children's Defense Fund and went to South Carolina to work in African American communities, the more that millennials find out about her record, the more they support us. Uh, and we're going to continue to talk about that over these next 20 days. And I think you'll see millennials support Hillary Clinton. All right, tonight may be the last chance for some of those undecided voters to be swayed. Marlon, thank you for taking yeah. the time to talk with us today. Hey, really appreciate you having me. Thank you. All right, Storm Team 4 now.